Hi guys, Rico Canera here today with a book called St. Croix Historic Photos. And this is a great book that has a lot of good pictures from the turn of the century. And when I say the turn of the century, I'm talking late 1800s, early 1900s. Um, this image here is very interesting. Um, back when we had sugarcane mills, uh, especially the wind blown uh, mills, uh, they would crank different machinery and if you got too close to the machinery the belts could kind of suck you in and crush your arm or your leg well the days of slavery were over but now modern technology used these other belts and you saw the belts going up and down everywhere if you got too close to those belts and um part of your clothes or something got caught into it the same exact thing would happen it would suck in and can cause horrible uh damage um some people may or may not know that and unfortunately, some of these people here, you can see they're missing hands. At one point in uh, history, leprosy was a big problem in the Virgin Islands, so much so that they had leper colonies on the island of St. Croix. Uh, the island of Hassel Island at one point was entirely uh, a leper colony just because they didn't have good ways of curing people. Uh, it's now known as Hansen's disease, but still a, a horrific thing uh, that a lot of people suffered back then. Um, also, here's a very interesting picture here of a couple of twins. Um, onto itself, it wouldn't seem special, but um, twins in the Virgin Isles was a very special thing because uh, infant mortality was such a, a high rate back then. Uh, it was so bad at one point that people, many people, didn't even name their children until after the first birthday um, because most kids weren't expected to make it past one year. So in order to not get attached, you didn't even give uh, the child a name until their first birthday. Another interesting picture here, a very early boxing picture. And in the 1800s, uh, the Virgin Islands actually produced a number of really outstanding boxers, one being uh, Peter Jackson, another one being Peter Felix, uh, both of which went on to win uh, championship belts. The last image I'm gonna share with you, very early Mukajumbi and very early masqueraders. Um, you know, we're so blessed to be able to have any images of, uh, of Carnival and Mukajumbi, but especially from going back to the late 1800s, uh, wonderful, wonderful pictures. And lots more in this book. Again, St. Croix, historic photos, check it out. You won't be disappointed.